Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to make carved wood basket weave designed pistol grips. This is a fairly easy do-it-yourself uh, project. Uh, these particular grips were made out of walnut and we used a Dremel grinder in order to uh, cut out the basket weave design. This is on a uh, Friends Kimber uh, 1911. But basically you could do the same type of grips on any pistol uh, that has removable uh, grips, removable pistol grips. It's a nice uh, Celtic, Celtic look. Anyway, the hardest part of the whole project is probably just drawing uh, the basket weave design. Um, I highly recommend doing it on paper a couple of times first before you try to uh, sketch it out on the wood. Um, so just a quick tutorial. You make yourself a graph of parallel lines, uh, horizontal and vertical, and you can do this in any size you want. And then you make small boxes in ink uh, on the same side of each parallel, uh, same side of each vertical line, same side of each horizontal line. Those squares are very important. Then alternating in one of the penciled boxes you're going to draw arced inward from the inside edge of each square to the inside edge of the next one and then on the one below it you're going to go outer edge to outer edge bowed outward then the next one is going to be inner corner to inner corner bowed inward and you just alternate going vertical I do all the vertical lines first and then I go back and do the horizontal lines so now I'm going to move over into the next column and consider the next penciled square. So if the left side has an inward arc, I do an inward arc, then I do an outward arc, then I do an inward arc. All of the inward arcs go to the inner edge of that square and the outer arcs go to the outer edge of the square. When we finally flip the piece or, or start doing the horizontal lines, we're going to use a corner that was not used before. So when I look at this um, penciled box, I'm going to go from the outer corner horizontally to the outer corner and on the bottom also the outer corner going to the outer corner and again you're just going to alternate once you do it a couple of times it becomes very easy um, but it just does, does take a little bit of practice the alternate way of doing this you could certainly print out a basket we've designed on the web and you could use carbon paper and transfer that onto your workpiece uh, being able to freehand it just gives you a little bit more flexibility uh, with the curved uh, wood that we're going to be using um, as the, a pistol grip. Now while I've got the, the paper uh, demonstration going here, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. Uh, these are all Dremel tools. I'm going to use a very small bit. Um, this one is a, is a diamond bit. I also have another one that's a little round bit at the bottom. And I'm going to use these to carve out each of those little squares first. The next step, I'm going to use a small cutting tool, and I'm basically going to cut the arc lines from one of those um, squares to the other. I'm going to use those cutout squares um, to cut into and away from. And I'm going to do all the arcs in the same direction at one time, then I rotate the piece 90 degrees, and then I do all the arcs uh, in the next direction. And once you rotate the piece, you know, 360 degrees um, around, you will have cut out uh, or etched all of those lines. The next step is going to be to taper each one of the weave segments that's going to go underneath or, or it's going to appear that it goes underneath. Um, and you can do this with, with one of these tools or you can do it with a drum um, sanding wheel, one of the small ones. Uh, you just be careful. You know, you only want to kind of carefully sand right to that line and then you're just going to sand away each piece so that it looks like it's curved, you know, over uh, and then under. Looks a lot more difficult than it actually is. I'm going to show you um, exactly how to do it with a Dremel grinder in a minute, um, but at least now you see the tools that we're going to be using. Uh, so for this process, my friend Louis uh, sent me a sample um, set of pistol grips that he had, an extra set, and I just duplicated uh, the ex basically the exact outside shape. I also put a couple of marks uh, for the holes. 
these holes do have an undercut, so you do have to uh, match those up, otherwise the grips will not fit. I cut them out of walnut. I used a little pin saw, but you could, you know, you could use a band saw if you wanted. Um, you could even just rough cut them with a jigsaw and then uh, go over to a belt sander and bring them into the final size. Uh, the walnut that I used, I actually cut um, a piece of one, one inch walnut in half because I didn't need the thickness. And then I did use a, a sander to kind of bring all of those lines right into, um, right into the final shape. Now before we start with the basket weave design, you do want to add uh, or, or carve away or grind away whatever material you want, leaving um, this grip having the correct arc. You want to make sure that it's curved nicely, feels comfortable in your hands. If you happen to have the gun handy, that would be nice because you could test fit it. Um, I didn't, uh, so I kind of did all this blind. The next step is going to be to draw on that basket weave design. Um, again, I just used a pencil uh, in order to draw parallel uh, lines in a grid pattern, and then either a pen or, in this case, a small uh, Sharpie marker, a fine Sharpie marker. I'm drawing uh, the corner squares, and those are, again, very important. You need something to cut into and cut away from with that grinding tool. So here it is, the design is done, or well, the squares are done, and now I'm going to draw the actual basket weave. And I did exactly what I did on paper. You know, the, the curved in, the curved in, and then the curved out, the curved out. Um, it doesn't take very long, you know, once you've done it a few times. So that's basically uh, the finished piece drawn out how I want the final product uh, to come out. Uh, now I was told by a carving, a guy that does a lot of carvings, that you don't really need to draw the arc in those lines, but I just find it so much easier when you're carving it. It really dictates uh, which strand goes under and which strand goes over. Just visually it's, it's easier to, uh, to carve when you do the curved lines. So, now what I'm doing is I'm carving away each of those small inked squares. These are the squares that are going to be uh, in between uh, each of uh, the weaved pieces, you know, in the corner of each of the, um, of the weaved pieces. And you really want to carve this away a little bit. Um, whatever depth you get to, you're going to, you're going to carve your lines basically to that depth or a little bit shallower. What I'm really saying is that these squares could be a little bit deeper uh, than the depth that you're going to cut uh, with the grinding tool. So now that I've got all the squares done, I'm going to go to that grinding tool. Um, you'll notice that I'm doing all of the arcs in the same direction so that you know my hand and the piece pivot correctly. Um, and then once I get them all done, you know, on one in one direction, uh, then I'll pivot the piece 90 degrees and I'll start cutting uh, the lines, you know, the horizontal lines compared to the vertical lines. And this whole process is very quick uh, and very easy. Um, you're just cutting from one of those squares that we've already cut out to the next one, and you're putting a little bit of an arc on it. Uh, the depth, the depth is really um, re determined by the um, diameter of this cutting wheel. I would say it's about an eighth of an inch or so. And it doesn't really take all that long uh, to finish cutting these lines. You know, working under a good light is important. Um, having good eyes is fairly important. But really just a little bit of patience and, and this is very easy to do by, by anybody with just some some minimal uh, Dremel tool um, attachments and just a little bit of skill. 
So this is the next step, and what I'm doing is I'm just using a, a drum sanding wheel, one of the smaller ones, um, and I'm just grinding away each section of webbing so that it it's curved, uh, and it looks like it then goes under uh, the next piece in that basket weave pattern. So just kind of arcing it downward, and again I'll do you know, all of those uh, vertical pieces in the same direction at once. And then I'll turn the piece and do, I'll start working on the horizontal um, sections. Now this entire, one grip um, from start to finish, I probably did in, you know, 45 minutes uh, or an hour. Now you do have to keep looking at it because I found that, uh, you know, almost every time I did it, I've done a few of these now, um, I, I keep missing one line. You know, I'll have one piece that I'll find later on that I do have to either, you know, cut a line on or, or, uh, or sand down. Now the next step, I, I'm using a very small uh, diamond um, bit, and I'm using this just to etch each section in the same direction. So I'm, I'm smoothing it out with the side of that tool, but I'm also adding little, almost like fabric lines. Um, and I'm adding horizontal lines to each one of the horizontal pieces. And then I'll turn the piece and I'll add, you know, vertical lines to each of the vertical pieces. And it, it just gives the finished product um, more of a visual um, difference between the vertical pieces and the horizontal pieces, um, almost like threads in a fabric. And at the same time, I'm smoothing out some of the rough edges left from my, uh, my rough sanding with that uh, drum sanding wheel. This process very quick. Um, and then the final step is I, I'm just using one of these real fine wire uh, brushes. And this kind of gets out, you know, all of the little burrs, um, you know, from each one of those grooves. And it just cleans it up a little bit. So that's basically the finished product. You could you could use a little bit of light sandpaper, um, you know, 500 grit or 1,000 grit afterwards. The only additional thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, soak that wood with a um, with a good oil. I'm going to use a um, a cutting board oil. Um, I ended up just sanding away a little bit um, of the rough edges, and then I'm going to use this cutting board oil. And that brings out a nice luster uh, in the walnut. You know, almost almost makes the walnut just appear darker uh, than it is naturally. And I gave that a good soaking. I let it dry um, for a few hours, uh, let it soak in completely, um, and then I actually went back and gave it another another coating. So each um, grip had two coatings of oil. And by the next day, you don't feel that at all on your skin. It, it just gets absorbed into the wood, and it really adds a nice protective film to the wood. It really soaks into the um, wood's cell structure. That is the finished product. A very quick, easy, um, and, and unique pistol grip um, that was carved with a Dremel grinder. Uh, these are in walnut, but you could do them in any hardwood. And this is what they look like uh, mounted onto, uh, onto my friend's pistol. And of course you could use this exact same technique uh, for making knife scales or knife handles or a variety of other do-it-yourself projects. Uh, please check us out on the web at uh, www.diyeasycrafts.com. Uh, be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you liked this video, I ask that you please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.